Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to balance this equation in which we have NH4Cl that is ammonium chloride and NaOH on the reactant side and on the product side we have ammonia which is NH3, H2O that is water, NaCl, salt. So uh, once you know the number of atoms on both reactant and product side, it becomes really easy to balance these equations. So here in this equation what we are going to do is we are going to count the number of atoms on reactant side first and then we are going to count the number of atoms on the product side we then will try to balance it by adding coefficients on either sides so let's begin for reactant side we have one nitrogen atom over here for hydrogen we have four plus one which gives us five for chlorine we have only one for na we have one and for oxygen we have one now the tricky part about this equation is that you can often uh, forget about counting this hydrogen in NaOH and this is what changes the entire equation and it, it can mess up your uh, bal uh, and it can mess up your uh, method of balancing the equation. So always remember to, call, uh, to count all atoms of hydrogen and oxygen on both the sides because most of the time students get stuck over here and this is the reason they are not able to balance the equations properly. So always make sure to count all the number of atoms on both the sides. Now you have the number of atoms on the reactant side. Let's proceed to the product side. Here we have one nitrogen atom again because of NH3. For hydrogen now here we have 3 plus 2 over here. Again remember to count both these hydrogen atoms because it is important to count all the atoms, right? So we have 5 hydrogen atoms over here. We have 1 Cl atom. We have 1 Na and 1 O. So the balance, the equation is balanced itself. You do not need to add any coefficients. The arrangement of numbers might confuse you a little and it might you might think that this is not a balanced equation. But this is a balanced equation because we have same number of uh, atoms on both reactant and product side and you do not need to add any coefficients. So make sure to count the number of atoms very carefully because this can be a tricky question in your next exam. So always make sure to count the number of atoms on both the sides and I hope this video helps you to understand that for more such videos on lowest structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.